Hey, hey folks, so this is Nathan Cruz with EXP Realty here in Orville, California. I am looking to um, utilize my KB Core system, which is my CRM. Um, it's connected to my MLS, it's connected to my, um, it's, it's my CRM. It provides everything for us within uh, EXP. It's free if you're an EXP member. Uh, if you're not, it's a lot more monthly. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so today we are going to cover basically how to take and make a landing page, customize with the squeeze page, integrate it into it. So you can use your list from your MLS that's attached to your CRM, which is KB Core, um, and also throw a custom photo for the background. So personalizing it. Um, so basically first we start with, you go into your KB Core website, you hit dashboard. From your dashboard, you see everything from your leads um, and uh, your navigations on the left here. You go to lead engine, click on your lead engine. Okay, lead engine takes you to all the tabs, all the tabs here, or you can shortcut and go straight to the tabs themselves. However, just wanna show you an example of what's available. Um, so you got landing pages, you got squeeze pages. They're both really good. It depends on your market, where you're at. Landing page takes people to this page where they have to insert their information in order to get what you're promising them. However, squeeze page takes you straight to that page. They can browse. Usually depends on your default settings. Um, you can browse about two different properties um, before it asks for uh, their information. So up front compared to a little bit down the road. However, um, first things first, you want to open up two KB Core tabs here. Um, due to the fact that we're going to make some customization stuff going, we want to have two tabs. So I'm just clicking back and forth, uh, just showing you. I got two tabs open here. Okay. Um, so for example, we're gonna do a landing page. Simple, right? Enter your domain that's provided by EXP that's attached to your KB Core platform. All right, you go to build. Boom, everyone gets this generic, ready to go template, everyone. You can leave it like this, you can change it, you can do whatever you want. For today's example, we're going to do recently reduced properties within my area, two towns, and um, we're also going to navigate kind of back and forth. The important thing here is just customizing it to your liking. Um, you can add YouTube videos. You can do all kinds of cool stuff here. Depends on your type of like your demographic. You test the waters, play with each one of these. However, today we're just gonna do simple lead generation. Uh, you can add hashtags. So when people do click on it, it tells you where they came from by following that hashtag. It's gonna be like Facebook, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, et cetera. Um, this right here, the third box is for your submission button. Right here, it says, see the list now. You can put something like, um, let's see, view, do capitalization here view uh, reduced uh, homes now, okay? And as you type it, it changes, okay? This yellow button, or orange, sorry, orange button. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more customization, this URL. If you don't put anything here and you're promising whatever you're promising, let's say we are going to put a recent reduced um, homes sell, and we can do Orville. California. Now, did that 
right in the middle of that. So now, so now we're promising recently reduced homes for sale in Oroville and Chico, California. The rest of these tabs, you can customize them for this example and for um, just to keep it clean and simple, we are going to, actually, I'm pretty sure you can just double click. Yep, there you go. You don't even have to highlight them. Double click, double click and it just deletes them. So now it's clean, it's simple. Okay, what are we doing? We're gonna show you recently reduced homes for sale in Orville and Chico, California. All right, now, now that we're promising them this, we need to deliver. So they enter their email, difference, right? between a squeeze page and a landing page. This is a landing page. They have to enter their information in order to move forward. So once they go to move forward, you click on this now, it's gonna take them to your main website, which is basically just your front page, which is not taking them to a reduced homes list or anything for sale. They, I mean, it's in there, they'd have to navigate through it, but it's not providing what you're talking about delivering. So that's where this comes in, okay? And you have to put that in there. Now, the criteria, this is why we open up a second tab. Okay, now we're gonna click on the KB Gore tab that we have nothing on. It's just our dashboard with our following leads, talking about uh, task and everything else to do today. You got quick actions, and you also have different um, connections there as well. However, Today, all we're gonna do is go back down here to lead engine. We're gonna click on that again, and you're gonna to go to squeeze page. You have to put your domain in there. Now I have a forwarded domain, but however, uh, they don't mask your foreign domain. So when you're utilizing um, your KB Core platform, um, it's gonna show your original unless you pay differently you can have it actually 100 percent mask whatever this is a freeway I'm just moving stuff around all right now we're going to build this up idx squeeze page boom all right so what are we doing we are delivering recently reduced homes in orville and chico california right now this is attached to my mls so anything that's available through my mls is going to show up here it's not going to show you directly but this is what is it's leading to. Okay, so we go multiple property. There's different ways you can do this and promote single properties and market reports and seller squeezes and stuff. However, uh, we're doing multiple property. We're gonna enter location. Right, and you can enter as many or as little as you want. Oops. This example, we're doing Orville and Chico. All right, listing types. We are focused on single family. I'll scroll down here a little bit. There's other options. You can draw on a map if you wanted to, or you can even do um, a different, different things. I'm just doing location. Seems simplest. All right, you can pick styles if you want, ranch style, single family residence, that's all we're going for. Now, if you want a price point, I like doing a, a minimum of say, I don't know, 225. And then just let it go. Um, also, when it comes to reduced properties or anything, I like to do, when it comes to marketing, at least two plus. Um, I don't want to waste my time with one single family, one bedroom houses. Uh, there's not really a, um, a need for those per se. However, um, more options. Okay, so we're focusing on reduced properties. Here we are, you can do walkable, just listed. These are just different aspects of what you can market for. Um, all houses on the market with the pool, waterfront, water view, views. We are doing, there's foreclosure, short sales. We are doing reduced. 
we are just looking for reduced properties on the market. Now, where are you going with this? Why are you building it? Where's the end game? So you're taking it to your Facebook business account or a personal page or Google, etc., LinkedIn, whatever you would type it here. So when you receive those leads, you know, okay, hashtag, you don't have to do the hashtag, but you want to do no spaces here. So we would do like say reduced um, Orville. Reduced. say uh, Chico. So now, again, this leads to, we put these, copy and paste them. I don't remember if I put them in here or not. Hashtags, optional, paste. And then we put both hashtags in there. So they're connected. Okay, so now I know I'm bouncing around a little bit. I apologize for that, but this is the requirements for this type of level of, of work, okay? Um, we're taking your squeeze page with your actual list provided within it, taking that code we attach to your landing page so we, we can provide what we're promising as uh, the best uh, terminology I can come up with there. Um, okay, so we have our hashtags. We have our end game. We're going to Facebook. Um, you can do Facebook photo cover. Um, you can do, well, let's see, we can do uh, get people's attention, usually a higher end property. So you can use high end listings from your agency. Um, it can do random, it can do whatever. I'm just picking one just for the heck of it. However, I'm going to do a custom background anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Um, okay, now here, uh, properties views. It's on default for two. Everyone's market's different. Um, a good analogy was like if you live down south, uh, they don't like being so aggressive. So like maybe five or um, 10. However, I keep it on default because here in California, it's very competitive. We want to be able to um, market and get as much information so we can market back to you as possible. However, this kind of default, this is just for the squeeze page. Um, it's going to be attached to a landing page, which requires the information up front. So don't get hung up on this because it won't even matter. Um, however, when they do click on, say they enter their imp information, say their email, they go in there. Now they're in the actual squeeze page showing you the properties. After they click a couple, it might pop up and ask them again. Um, and maybe at that point, they're more committed and want to enter more of the information available. Um, maybe they like something they want to see and they really want to pull a trigger on it. All right, so now we have our reduced. This is and or. So like if you keep doing a reduced foreclosure um, short sell, it's just going to add to it. And then your list is just going to go down. So you want to make sure whatever you're marketing to, you want to make sure there is a list, list attached to it. So here is a good way to find out. Okay. We have our locations. We have our types. We have our minimum price. We have our minimum beds. We want reduced. Um, Everything is available currently on the MLS because it's attached to our CRM. And um, the end game is going to Facebook. So we go generate leads or generate links sorry um here you basically copy this right here and you can go to pull up a whole new tab just to test it paste it in click enter and there you go so right here you know we have 23 properties for results in Orville and Chico for single family homes that's been reduced on the market as of right now. So you, that's a pretty decent list. 
and people that are interested in getting a good deal, they see reduced, they click on it, they enter their info, they see one that they like, they give you a call or um, enter their info and you follow up with them. That's a whole nother um, video campaign. However, we tested our link. It's taken us to 23 results. It's a pretty good, decent list. We're gonna go with it. I'm just gonna click exit out of here. That was just to show you. All right, so now we have our setup. Okay, this is our squeeze page. You copy that link again real quick, probably didn't need to. Go over back to our custom landing page. Paste the link. Now the link is attached. So when they enter their information here, they are going to um, go straight to that page we just tested for reduced, recently reduced properties for sale in Oroville and Chico, California. All right, so we custom, we got lead generation, we're getting leads in, right? We have our uh, tag, so we know where it's coming from. Um, and this is another um, next level, I guess you would say, tack on to everything else. Say you don't like this background, you can switch to, here you go, reduced, boom, price is reduced for sale. That's straightforward. That's awesome. However, say you want um, a custom page. So um, we would click reduced or the tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom here. It's going to say custom background. Click on it. Here, you have to enter a URL in order to submit a custom background. So it can be any picture. However, it has to have a URL. So you can go to different places and copy link address. Um, so like a good example that I had was, let's see, pixel. Um, I'll just spell that all wrong. Pixels, there you go, pixels.com. Go here. You can literally take any photo here and you just basically copy image address. Okay. Let's see, sorry. Now, we copied, we go back custom, scroll back down, go to custom background, paste. There's your photo. Now it's not really relevant. So say you want to do um, something more hometown or something more um, customized to what you're doing kind of like how it had the reduce tab, right? It's more custom to what we're doing and that photo wasn't really the best. Um, that was just an example of way to grab them. Now you gotta make sure you don't do any copy infringements or stuff. So if you're gonna do a photo that is something you took that you have and it doesn't have a URL, here's the cheat code to that. So now, we go back to one of our tabs here and we are going to go into web and IDX. Okay, so just back to a KB Core tab. You don't wanna mess with the one where you have the code on there. So just a different one, web and IDX, okay. And you are here in your web content dashboard. We literally are just going to go to blog. Now you're not doing a blog, you're not starting a blog. If you do, good, good for you. However, this is just a little cheat code that was taught. Go to add post, okay? So here it looks like you're gonna add a blog, title it, do all that stuff. That We're just trying to get a URL for one of your personal pictures, correct? For your squeeze page or your landing page. So. Click on that little icon there. Looks like a picture. You're gonna go down to upload. You're going to click on that. 
it's going to take you to some photos of wherever you want to go. This is inside your computer. You can navigate wherever, obviously. However, I do my photo shoot and I have a few photos here and we're, I made this off of Canvas, which is just another app. So now I uploaded it. It gives me a source URL code. Copy it. Go back to, oh, sorry. Go back to your landing page, custom tabs all the way to the bottom, custom background, sorry, paste, boom. So now I have a personalized Orville, city of Chico, recently reduced homes for sale in Orville and Chico. It's personalized, it's custom. People that live there know where these are, know they're uh, historic and we're just playing around here, but um, you can make these, you can make anything you want, say in Canvas, and then um, pretty much save it, right? Upload it, whatever you're gonna do, and do that whole cheat code to where you're gonna think you're gonna start your own little blog here. And it's just a way to connect a photo to get a URL behind it. So you can utilize it for your custom page. Okay, so now we're focused on all these tabs. We already went across them all, right? Lead generation is what we're doing. We got some Hashtags, um, we got our button named out. We have it linked. Email is required, phone is optional. You can make it required. However, uh, you'll probably lose a lot more um, clientele. Um, you can always get that later on once you have your, on, in your CRM. We have our custom tab in the background and then lead type. We're looking for obviously buyers, because they're looking at reduced homes for sale. All right, everything looks good. You wanna make sure you check your spelling. And if there's anything else you wanted to put here, you'd put it now. Once you hit save, everything is set. You can't go back. The cool part is once you're happy with this, click save, it generates, pops open. Boom, there it is. This is it. Now, you go here and you can post it to anywhere you have a social media account. I did Facebook, we're gonna pop it to Facebook. This is where it gets a little tricky. If you have a business page, you're gonna want to make sure you go to this where it says share to newsfeed or story, click down and you're gonna to go to share on your, on a page you manage. Once you do that, I manage a few pages. So we go over here to the right page and you can say anything you want here. Um, like check out, uh, Recently reduced in and say that area, but we can put Orville and just kind of mock the same thing. Orville and Chico. You don't want to put a bunch of stuff here. You just want to call to action. Now they're going to see this. You put your phone number, they're going to call you. The, uh, you know, possibly. The whole goal here is for them to click on the link. So you can also say um, check out or click link below to see or view. Um, you know, let's see.
messed that all up. All right. Anyways. Recently reduced homes for sale in Orville too. I'm gonna keep it simple. All right, just for this um, showcase. All right, now we're just gonna post to Facebook. Now, once it's on your Facebook, I believe you can edit and do this part and you can also promote it, um, which that can be another post. Boom, done. So let's check, see what are there you go. There it is. I did one prior, just messing around. Say you like that more, you can copy all that if you wanted to and literally upload it to this one just by going edit. Paste, if you like that better. However, I don't think I need all that call to action. Yeah, so now we have it again. Save it, fix it, boom, done. Post looks cleaner. The reason why I did it again really is because my spelling and the spacing on this one wasn't right. Um, and I wanted to showcase Chico, not just Orville. So now I have them both on there and it looks clean. All right, so now technically you just click out of all the stuff. However, I wanna show you one more thing. Okay, we already generated our links. Everything's good there, we're done. There's, you don't save it, right? Now, if you wanted to just do um, that link and put it into a Facebook campaign, you can as well. You don't have to do the whole um, add it to this and that and make it more customization. Um, but that was the purpose of this one. Uh, real quick, go back to KB Core platform dashboard, right? We are just going to go down this line. We're going to go over here to lead engine. You're going to click on your lead engine. And now anytime you want to check out your landing page you made or ever made, you can have a bunch. Um, it's going to show you what day it was made. And you can usually copy that link and you don't have to start fresh. And the cool thing is always up to date because it's connected to your MLS. So you can repost this once a week, talking about recently reduced homes. Just make sure there's a list there. So when people do click that, they can see it available um, and you can reuse this. So say you do one with pool, reduced and market uh, conditions. And at that point, you just repost them weekly, each one of them, and they'll all stay up to par and current with market trends. As long as you add that squeeze page in the first place attached to it. So again, this is the landing page, customized with the squeeze page, and uh, we are good to go. If you guys have any questions, you get a hold of me at, uh, let's see, 530-552-1070 or um, Nathan Cruz, uh, EXP Realty, uh, Facebook business page. Um, I'm usually on there the most, so that's about the easiest. All right. Well, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and enjoy the video. Hopefully more to come. Bye.